Welcome back everyone! Today's video is a bit of a send-off, a final ride through one of my longest running projects in Planet Coaster. For years, my Desert Springs theme park has been a place of big dreams, wild frontiers, and hidden stories. But with Planet Coaster 2 here, it's time for one last look at the park, terrain, and the unique characters that I created for this work in progress park. So hop on the train with me for a farewell tour of Desert Springs and stick around as we dive into what's next in Planet Coaster 2. y'all welcome back to another video in planet coaster planko one as i'll be calling it from now on since planko two just dropped yesterday woohoo ever since planet coaster two was announced a few months ago the excitement has been electric it's been awesome seeing so many og members of the community returning wrapping up projects, and even hosting one last contest or showcase for Planco 1 before moving on. The energy has been truly inspiring. For me, I've been busy working on my Big Balls ride for the Yuletide Frostival Park, which is coming out on December 12th. But before that, I've released the Arctic Avalanche, a mega slide blueprint I created for the same park on the workshop. And I owe a huge thanks to the Mona Lisa for encouraging me to put it out there. This blueprint wasn't without its challenges though. I initially wanted a slick metal look for the slide, but it just wasn't working. After struggling with the design and trying to make it look like the reference pictures I found on the internet, I checked out the workshop for inspiration and found Karate Pajamas Amazing Mega Slide. It gave me the direction I needed. While I made mine different with three slides, some elements were inspired by theirs, especially the bottom section. I'm really happy with how it turned out and excited for y'all to see it too. I also released Polar Plunge Dunk Tank. Dunk Tank, oh my God. <laughs> on the workshop, as unfortunately you won't see this fun creation in the official video on the 12th, so I'm hoping that it'll be seen when spotlighted from others. On top of that, the Planet Coaster 2 announcement has really motivated the community to finish their projects quickly. After completing Yuletide Frostival, with Big Balls the Ride taking two years to create, I went back into the Dragon Slayer collab, Overgrowth, fresh with some ideas on how to execute some concepts for my area of the park. I'm excited to say that Overgrowth is finished and a trailer for it is on my channel. I'll leave a link for it at the end of the video. The full spotlight will be dropping in January 2nd, kicking off the year with a bang. So stay tuned for that. And if you can't wait till then, it's also on the workshop. Like many creators, I've been deciding which projects to wrap up in Planet Coaster 1 and which to restart in Planco 2. One project I'm really excited about is my Viking Longhouse, originally built for a Planet Coaster 1 project, but I've decided to hold off and redo it in Planko 2, seeing all their sexy Viking uh, pieces that they have. This Longhouse is inspired by the one I built in Valheim's Smilingheim, which was actually based on a YouTube tutorial by One Last Midnight. Let's take a look at some side-by-side -side comparison between my Planko version and the Valheim original in Smilingheim. Heim. 
I'm really thrilled to get started on this Viking project in Planet Coaster 2, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. Now, while I'm excited to dive into new projects, there's one that I'm sadly saying goodbye to. My Desert Springs theme park. This park has been in the works since 2019 and has gone through four map changes. It was initially a collaboration, but due to life happening, my collab partner couldn't continue. I started out not really feeling hyped about the Western theme, but as I've researched and visited some cool inspiring places in real life, hearing stories of the lives that went into shaping the Old West, my fondness for the theme grew. While it's very much still a work in progress, what I am proud of are the train stations I built throughout this park. They show my growth as a creator over the years. The first train station I made was the main train station that has a restaurant with a menu inspired from Knott's Berry Farm's iconic restaurant, as well as a nod to the Harvey Girls of the Old West. This train station has a hidden flat ride off to the right of the entrance underground. As we tour this station, you will see a lot of Z fighting. <laughs> and this was my biggest hurdle in Planet Coaster. The second train station I made was a recreation of the San Diego Union Plaza that inspired La Bonita Springs. I'm really proud of the station, and while they're still flickering here, I think this is one of the prettier things I've created in this game, and I love the station at night. My third station I made was inspired from Calico's Ghost Town train station for Vulture City. The Vul with Vulture City being a nod to an old town in Arizona. I actually used this train station in my Lonely Cowboy Exploration Coaster. It served as a stagecoach stop along the way. My fourth station was a recreation of Disneyland's Frontier Station from the 1950s to 60s, as well as the town of Wickenburg, Arizona, that has the coolest street lamps I've ever seen. Wickenburg, being a western town, has these cool western cowboy hats on the lamp posts, and, th and I thought this was the perfect thing for this train station to recreate it here. They're still flickering here and there on this train station, but I'm incredibly proud of the details of the station. The fifth and last station I made for this park was inspired by Disneyland Paris' Big Thunder Coaster Station for the Ponderosa de Depot. I feel this is my best work of all the stations and it's now on the workshop for you to use and enjoy yourself. Creating each station taught me something new. As you can tell, each station is set in a different environment within the western map. The main area, more red rocky with the autumn falls in the background. La Bonita Springs is set to a different setting of the west. 
Wickenburg, marking a slight increase in ele elevation, and Vulture City and Ponderosa Depot both gaining altitude on the map. The Ponderosa Depot area, I tried to simulate the north rim of the Grand Canyon and Williams, Arizona vibe. For this part, I had the TMTK Artist Delta Unit create Ocotillo bushes, both flowering and non-flowering, that is iconic to the western states of California, Arizona, and Nevada. While Planko Wen had some cool Seguro cacti, I had Delta make additional ones, ones that flowered, just like the real-life ones do each spring and some Seguros at different stages of development. I tried my best to simulate the terraforming and plant life, what you'd see at the various elevations and places. In some spots, more Joshua trees um, are more prevalent, and in others, Seguros on end. I'm very happy with how my recreations of Horseshoe Bend and Monument Valley turned out. While they're both outside of the park boundaries, they serve as beautiful vistas and sightlines for the park. Last but not least, I created some fun characters with some fun backstories to weave and tell throughout the park through various rides. Some of them, such as Mayor Henry Reel and his daughter Virginia and Bass Reeves, are all inspired from real-life people. Others, such as Bobby and the Farmer, are based on people for a little shout-out Easter egg, and the rest are inspired from Google searches and video. I'm really proud of these characters. If Plain Code 2 wasn't announced, I was going to add to them with more fun characters that would help tell the stories I wanted to bring to life in Plainco. I want to give a special send-off to Desert Springs, so I have a special POV at the end of the video you don't want to miss. But before I fully move on to Plainco 2, there is one last project I'm determined to finish in Plainco 1. A love story called Olympus. I've worked with Anne Angelineer to create custom images for this experience coaster that, I, that will help tell a unique and emotional story. I don't want to spoil it too much, but here's a sneak peek at the characters Angelineer has made that you'll see on this ride. However, as I work to complete Olympus in Planco 1, I am also excited to plunge into Planco 2. Like I said earlier, I will be redoing my Viking themed coaster and I have a really cool idea for that stand up coaster that's been shown in the announcement of Planko 2. I also want to work on making more coaster experiences and I'm not sure if the Horror Heights will make a return or not, but if it does, I definitely want to tackle that right too. Plus, there are so many more ideas floating around in this head of mine. <laughs> Before we wrap it up, I'm also thrilled to announce my brand new series coming in 2025, Behind the Blueprint. In this series, I'll be diving deep into the minds of both PC and console creators from the Planet Coaster community. We'll chat about what inspires them, their favorite blueprints, their biggest challenges, and other fun tidbits I think you'll enjoy. I hope you'll tune in to discover what makes our amazing community tick. Now, 
It's time to give a special send-off to Desert Springs, my Western-themed park that I've spent countless hours perfecting. From carefully crafting the terrain, to designing unique train stations, and bringing my custom Western characters to life, while this was far from completion, it's been a project that's been with me throughout my plane code journey. This park had become a labor of love to me. To say goodbye, I've placed my characters along the scenic train route, so I'll end this video with a POV of the train ride through Desert Springs, highlighting the terraforming and map of the park and the characters one last time.
I hope you enjoyed the ride. So if you're as excited as I am about both Planko 1 and 2, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming content. I'll still be doing my Throwback Thursday series for Planko 1, but it'll be mixed in with new Planko 2 content as well. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know what you liked or your thoughts about Planet Coaster 2. I really appreciate you watching and your support helps my channel grow. Until next time, peace, love, and blessed be. Bye y'all.